Hello friends, this video on ratio and proportion part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 6. Divide 20 pens between Sheila and Sangeeta in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So when we say ratio, does that mean Sheila should get 3 pens and Sangeeta should get 2 pens? No, that doesn't mean that. That means that had there been a total of five pens in case we had five total pens in that case Sheila should have got three and Sangeeta should have got two but in this case we have 20 pens so exactly how many pens they will get that we need to, to calculate so let's say this is Sheila and this is Sangeeta so the ratio that is given is 3 is to 2. So where 3 stands for Sheila and 2 stands for Sangeeta because it says Sheila and Sangeeta and in the same order it is written 3 is to 2. So 3 is for Sheila and 2 is for Sangeeta. Now the total number of pens is 20. So how many pens Sheila should get? So Sheila's share is 3. So she not 3 pens but she should have got 3 pens had the total number of pens been 5. If the total number of pens were 5, in that case, Sheila should have got 3 pens out of those 5 pens. But actually, how many number of pens do we have? We have 20 pens. So, the actual number of pens that Sheila would get is 3 by 5 into 20. Do you want to understand how I arrived at this relation? Okay, the meaning of this, that the ratio of the pens is 3 is to 2 that means had there been had the total number of pens be 5 so in case you had 5 pens in that case Sheila would have got how many pens 3 pens this is what the ratio this is what we understand by this ratio that doesn't mean that right now Sheila will have 3 pens it says that in case you had 5 pens then Sheila would have got 3 pens. So that means in case you had 1 pen. So then Sheila would have got how many pens? 3 divided by 5. The same concept which I applied before. So in case you have 20 pens. Then Sheila would get how many pens? 3 by 5 divided by 20. And that is what we have done here. So basically this method is also called as unitary method. So we will discuss about this also in more detail slightly later. So because in this method we first find out the uh, find out the value for one unit. In this case, we found out the number of pens that Sheila would have if the total number of pens is 1. And using that, we find out the value for the required number of units. So whenever the ratio is given, so how you need to do is that the ratio corresponding to Sheila, which is 3, divided by sum of the ratios, that is 5, multiplied by the total number which is given here. So this becomes 60 divided by 5, which is equal to 12. So Sheila will get 12 pence. Now can you tell me how many Sangeeta will get? Now had there been total 5 pens, Sangeeta would have got 2. So 2 out of 5 multiplied by 20. So in this case it is 40 by 5 that is 8. So Sheila would get 12 pens and Sangeeta would get 8. Question number 7. Mother wants to divide rupees 36 between her daughter Shreya and Bhumika in the ratio of their ages. If age of Shreya is 15 years and age of Bhumika is 12 years, find how much Shreya and Bhumika will get. So let us first try to find out the ratio into which the mother wants to divide the total amount. So the ratio is nothing but ratio of ages of Shreya and Bhumika. So let us find the ratio of their ages which is nothing but 15 is to 12. So do you think this fraction is in its simplest form? No, not really because they have more common factors. So one common factor other than one is three. So let us try to simplify it into its simplest form. So 15 is to 12 can be written as 15 by 12. So we divide it by the highest common factor which is three. So this becomes five by four. So that means the mother wants to divide the total money which is 36 into in ratio 5 is to 4 amongst Shreya and Bhumika. So let's say this is Shreya and this is Bhumika and the ratio is 5 is to 4. That means had there been a total of 
9 rupees, Shreya would have got 5 and Bhumika would have got 4. So in case there were a total of rupees 9, Shreya would have got rupees 5 out of 9. But right now the total amount of rupees is 36. So Shreya will get 9 into 4, 36. So 5 fours are 20. So Shreya would get rupees 20. And what about Bhumika? Bhumika would have got 4 rupees out of 9 rupees. But now it's 36. So this is 9 fours are 36. So this is rupees 16. So Bhumika would get rupees 16. So now that the total sum is rupees 36, Shreya would get rupees 20 and Bhumika would get rupees 16. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.